we've seen another DJ Burtu mix three count two. That's right, guys. You see the hard look is out and the delicious ingredients too yet again. So you know it's time for DJ to get to it and make the missus a drink that she's gonna just freaking love. That's right. Gotta put them bartender skills to use. Hell yes. So what drink are we going to prepare for her today? We are going to make the citrus salty dog. Now, this one's got some more, you know, technique to it and some more ingredients, but it comes out awesome. Now, a salty dog, you know, basically it's vodka, a salted rim, and you got grapefruit juice. Yeah, real straight up simple kind of drink. Sometimes people put a little, you know, sugar syrup in there. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of roses lime too from time to time. But you know what? I got a nice fresh take on this drink. So let's get to it. What about ingredients on this drink? We've got basically five, six ingredients if you count ice in this drink. We've got vodka. We have some sliced up kumquats that we have in our, you know, mixing glass here. We got four ounces of grapefruit juice, two ounces of orange juice, and a half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. You know, I've got about a half ounce in my thing here. Whatever you get out of a, if you have a bigger lime, just half of that lime if you want to measure it that way, if you don't want to get totally exact. So, anywho, so what do we do to make this citrus salty dog or my take on it? So, we've got our kumquats in here first. We've got our muddler. We're going to smash these up. You know, if you had a bad day, you need to get them aggressions out. I know when I was tending bar, this was my favorite thing to do. If I was making some mojitos, like when I was making 10,000 of those freaking drinks um you know this was my favorite thing you just get it going and muddle that bad boy up so you see we've got it all pressed out there that gets all these essential oils and everything out of the skin the zest and everything and starts building your cocktail now what we're going to do is we're going to put our spirits and our juices and everything right on top of these kumquats so here we go we have 1.5 ounces of vodka boom now we're going to put in four ounces two four of ruby red grapefruit juice you could use white grapefruit juice if you want i prefer ruby red i like the pro flavor profile of it better now we've got two ounces of fresh squeeze well kind of fresh squeeze from the bottle orange juice <laughs> it says it was fresh squeeze when they made it not from concentrate that's good enough right anywho now we've got our half ounce to three quarters of an ounce of lime juice it depends how sharp you want it to be boom put that in there that's all fresh now we're going to give it a stir Get all that yumminess and happiness mixed together. Get it all going. Good. Start for about a 10 count, 15 count. So we're going to move this to the side a little bit. Now we've got our iced glass here. So we're going to put a few cubes in here. Now all these ingredients are cold, the vodka and everything, okay? That's important with this drink because we're not shaking it. It's got to be cold to start. Now we're going to strain this because we're going to have bits of seeds and all that kind of stuff in here. We don't want that. I'm going to use a julep sort of or a tea sort of strainer here. Just go right down the center. This is going to make an awesome drink. There might be even a little bit extra for the bartender. And I think everybody who tends bar or is making a drink for somebody is totally down with having a little bit of extra left for themselves, aren't they? Hell yes, I, I know I am usually. So we'll give this a little bit of a swirl. This gets it all out into the glass, all that deliciousness, giving it a bit of a press because that'll get the, all those essential oils left over in there. Take it in here, give it a bit of a dump. Boom, we're done with this. Put it to the side. I like to give it one little stir. Gets it all happy and mixed together. Now, we're gonna garnish this. How are we gonna garnish it? We're gonna make it look pretty. We got some of our sliced kumquats. We're gonna throw these in here right up to the top float them all the seeds are taken out of these boom put them right up here this is going to look freaking gorgeous on the top of this almost like when you go to those fancy hotels and they got water now i have a nice orange peel here i picked a miniola today because they look just gorgeous they're nice and bright orange and they match the kumquats look at that drink guys that just says tropical delicious out on the beach party i'm having a good ass time today so let's see what this tastes like got a little tasting straw here Oh, damn. That is so citric and smooth. The balance is perfect. You cannot taste any, and I mean any of the booze. This is a sneaky, cronk you drink, man. And the salt is going to balance perfectly. You're going to get that salty and sweet action going with that ruby red grapefruit juice, orange juice, vodka, lime, and the kumquat that we muddled up in there, man. This is a delicious drink, and I hope you love it. If you try it, you got to let me know. As always, I will include the recipe in the notes section and also at the end of the video, but notes section probably a little bit easier to read. So if you have this, let me know what you think because I like the quid pro quo and the back and forth. I also really like it when you think 
think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer and cocktail movement so we can keep getting riffs on awesome classics like the Salty Dog. So please remember, if you would, to rate, comment, subscribe, especially if it's your first time with us, and smash that like button. So, until the next DJ's Brew Tube, I got nothing but a huge amount of mixed drink making fun love and citrus salty dog drinking love for you. And you know what's coming? Hell yes. Are you ready for it? A big peace out!